CT Sounds. This is one of these companies who are not afraid to use the internet to sell products. You can see here the CT series amplifiers. What we're going to look at today is the CT400.1D, currently $119.99 on ctsounds.com and also on Amazon. You can check links in the video description if you want to pick one of these up after you watch this video. Amplifiers rated 150 watts at 4 ohms, 300 watts at 2 ohms, or 400 watts at 1 ohm. Uses 4 gauge power in ground and 12 gauge for the speaker terminals. Here is the amplifier. This was sent to me by CT Sounds, but as always, this is not a paid review. I'm telling you guys what I think and showing you the numbers, and then we're going to just uh, talk about the good and the bad at the end. So inside the box, you can see we got some stickers. We got a reminder to leave a review. Actually, a couple of stickers. We have some extra fuses and some mounting screws and also the base knob and the base knob cable. This does use a telephone style connection. Then we have the CT Sound CT400.1D amplifier. Has a nice looking logo there on the front. Overall, just a sleek looking amp. Nothing too special, but it also doesn't stand out either. On one end of the amp, you can see power protect LEDs, remote connection for the base knob, this one does have RCA inputs and bridge in and out. So this amp is actually linkable, which is crazy for an amp at this price. Gain control, low pass filter, variable subsonic, variable frequency and boost for the bass. That's really unheard of too for an amp at this price. On the opposite side, we have the 12 gauge speaker terminals. Now this amp has dual outputs, even though it's a mono block amp, that makes it easier for hooking up dual voice coil subwoofers, that's always appreciated. 12 gauge wire fits here. Again, with a 400 watt amp, that's plenty. Two 35 amp fuses for 70 amps of fusing. And then we have the four gauge power and ground and also the remote connection there for the turn on. As for the dimensions, 8.4 inches long, 5.6 inches wide by 2.2 inches high. Now we're going to get the amp hooked up so we can power it up and try it out on the dyno. So watch me hook it up and listen to the jams. Now let's fire up the good old SMD, the more engineering amplifier dyno to do our RMS power output testing of this amplifier. Before we do that, make sure you check the video description for links to Wilson Audio merch, smash me a thumbs up, and subscribe if you like this content. More like it coming all the time. Now let's talk about the dyno test. There's three different tests, certified, uncertified, and dynamic. Certified test takes us up to 1% THD. Uncertified takes us up to the clipping point. And dynamic is a dynamic tone mimicking IHF 202 standard. First up, we're going to try 4 ohms. Amp is rated 150 watts at 14.4. A lot of people may be asking, why are we doing a 400 watt amp? Well, these sell a lot better than the high powered amp. So people buying these want to know as well. 228 watts at 14.36 rated 150. So there you go, it easily does the rated power plus some, up to 1% THD. Let's try it uncertified up to the clipping point, 40 hertz, test signal going into the amp, 230, ooh, 241 watts, 14.3, so 91 watts over the rated power. And this is only 150 watt rated at four ohms, so getting your wattage plus some, Dynamically, 40 hertz burst tone, 236 watts, 14.32. Very nice. Now the efficiency at 4 ohms, we measured 83.5%. That's good. Next up, we're going to try 2 ohms. Amp is rated 300 watts, 14.4. Certified test first. Here we go. And once again, very easily met the rated power, 373. 14.46. Now let's try the uncertified test, which takes us up to the clipping point. 
keeps counting, keeps counting. Are we going to bust 400? Yes, 401. 14.34. 101 watts over the rated power. Dynamic sends a pulse tone into the amp. Here we go. Looks like we're going to get 403 at 14.32. Very good once again. Now let's try the efficiency, 83.4% at two ohms. Anything above 80% in my opinion is good. Now one ohm, amp is rated 400 watts at 14.4. Certified test first. Oh yes, easily get that. Almost 500 watts, 498, 14.4. Two thumbs up. Good job, CT Sounds. Yeah boy! Now let's try uncertified up to the clipping point. And if it's like before, it's going to get well above that. Oh, check this out. 555 watts, 14.38. We'll reset the dyno here for the dynamic burst. Sending a pulse tone into the amp. Oh yeah, over 600. Look at this, 622, 625, keeps counting. 626. Looks like it'll stop there. 626, 14.42. Now the efficiency did drop off at one ohm by quite a bit. 64% efficient at one ohm. As for the results, we'll say it's a budget banger. Current price with all the features and all the extras, this is a pretty good deal here. And you're getting the rated power plus some. And it's always important to make sure the amplifiers are rated properly. Now the part most of you like to see, the Do It Bump Do segment. We're going to use the Gately Audio Acrylic Box for this. So drool and watch and enjoy. Here we have the beautiful Gately Audio Box. Plexiglass, looks like a fish tank, but it's three quarter inch. Acrylic in a blue tint with blue LEDs, just awesome. So let's uh, try out this CT Sounds 400 watt amp on this 12 inch 800 watt RMS subwoofer and just admire the beauty of the box and the beauty of the thump. Okay, as requested, I do have the uh, AMM1 hooked up so we can see the actual real output power. So let's uh, crank it up, let it thump. playlist bass i love you too by bassatronics my boy jose killing it here we go let's see what it does Let's try this woofer test. See how much power we get and how it thumps. Now it's time to open up this CT400.1D and see what's inside. Flip it over, there's only four screws holding the bottom plate on and there you go. Class D goodness. For the filter caps, 
we have 25 volt 4700 microfarad for the input filtering and it's Yikon, never heard of that. 50 volt 3300 microfarad for the rails and the rest of it is just typical class D. We have the switching supply board here and then we hooked it up to the FLIR or we hooked the FLIR up to see if it had any excessive heat and it did not and even the outside of the amp did not get excessively hot during the testing or with music so that's good the good stuff rated power plus easily met the rated power these are linkable hook up multiples for more power variable subsonic variable base eq we always talk about base eqs needing to be variable if you're going to have them compact size it does include a base remote and it has dual speaker outputs which is always appreciated even with a monoblock amp Things that could be better, the efficiency at one ohm was not so great. The no-name capacitors, that could be expected in an amp this inexpensive. Voltage protect at 14.8, just realized that. Plastic cheap base remote, but again, you're getting a base remote with this amp, so you have to expect it's going to be a cheapo one at the price of the amp. So overall, for somebody who just needs some extra bass in their vehicle, something like this CT400.1D, Seems like a pretty good solution for you. So check it out. The link's in the video description. Till next time, this is Big D. I'm out of here. All right, those who know, know that if you stick around to the very end of my videos, you get some extras. Like we're gonna try the 0.8 certified run here of this CT Sounds 400 watt amp. It is not rated anything under one ohm but we decided we'd try it out anyway. There we go, 508 watts at 14.46 volts. Now let's try the dynamic test again at 0.8. Amp is not rated to handle anything under one ohm, so we don't wanna try like half an ohm. That will be a big dummy. <laughs> Here you go, over 700 watts. Dynamic, look at this, keeps counting up. 752, 14.47, kicking it. CT Sounds.